Number 10 then from the 2017 Advanced Tire Maths. Just four marks this time, broken down into two marks and two marks. Here we go, we've got a summation formula to simplify. Find an expression for this, fully factorising your answer. Well, it used to be you had to know these. You had to know the summation for r, r squared and r cubed. r squared was always the tricky one because it had those three parts in it. That two, that three, the other one had four, but they were doubled up because they were squares. But you just look up the front now. So if you look up the front, you would get, well, first of all, I've got to separate it. So I've got the summation of r squared plus a third of the summation of r. Now I've got to fill in all these wee tedious bits. Then you look that up. And when you look up the front, you find that it says 1 sixth of n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. And that's going to be 1 third of, and when you look up the front, that's 1 half of n times n plus 1. Doing that gets the first mark. So the next mark's just for tidying up. Well, it's full of factors. That's a sixth, that's a sixth. They've both got an n. They've both got an n plus 1. So that just leaves this factor here, 2n plus 1. Whoops. And on this side, I've got it all, so that's just plus a 1. Well, that's 2n plus 2. So that 2 can come out to knock this to 1 third. And that then makes that an n plus 1 which will join that one as an n plus 1 squared. And that gets the second mark. And then part b. Hence, find an expression for this. Going from r equals 10 to 2p. It says when p is greater than 5, but it has to be, because if you're starting at 10, then you'd want that to be bigger than 10 there, or else you'd just get the first term. Well, and that's the problem, it's starting at 10. And you only know the formula, this is the result, if you start at 1 and go to anywhere. So I'll just have to do that. So if I was to go from 1 to this 2p thing, I could get that formula. That just means replacing this n, which is wherever it stops with a 2p. But I don't want to start at 1, I want to start at 10, so I need to get rid of the first 9. So subtract the summation from r equals 1 to 9 then. That'll do it. So what are these? In fact, doing that's the first mark. Well, this formula says, if you go as far as n, you'll have n here. So if I go as far as 2p, I'll have a 2p there. One third of 2p, bracket, 2p plus 1 squared. Minus, this time I'm going as far as 9. This formula says if I go as far as 9, I'll be one third of 9 times 9 plus 1 squared. Now that's not actually going to tidy up much. You could multiply it all out into a big cubic expression that probably won't factorise with thirds in it. Because otherwise, that's as good as it's going to get, isn't it? So, 2 thirds of p times 2p plus 1 squared minus, and that's 100, 900, 300, minus 300. In fact, that's all they're looking for.